Tomorrow, about this time, I will send you a man from the tribe of Benjamin. Anoint him as the ruler of my people Israel, and he will rescue them from the Philistines. I have seen the sufferings of my people and have heard their cries for help. The next day. Some donkeys had wandered off. Take one of the servants and go look for the donkeys. And so, on the following day, each ordered his servant to look for the lost donkey. Donkeys! 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 Where are the donkeys? Have you seen one? No, I haven't. Donkeys! 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 Let's go back home or my father might stop thinking about the donkeys and start worrying about us. Wait, in this place there is a holy man who is highly respected. And everything he says comes true. Let's go to him and maybe he can tell us where we can find the donkey. If we go to him, what can we give him? There is no food left in our packs. I have a small silver coin. I can give him that. Then he will tell us where we can find them. Okay, let's go. Following what the servant had said, they all went to the place where the holy man lived. Here yes, I believe he just passed by. Follow that long road. Thank you. Is this here in town? Yes, he is. In fact, he is just ahead of you. If you hurry, you will catch up with him. He arrived in town today because the people are going to offer a sacrifice on the an altar on the hill. The people who are invited won't start eating until he gets there because he has to bless the sacrifice first. If you go now, you will find him before he goes up the hill and eats. on the road, King Saul finally arrived at the home where the seer lived. Tell me, where does the seer live? I am the seer. Go on ahead to the place of worship. Both of you are to eat with me today. Tomorrow morning, I will answer all your questions and send you on your way. And as for the donkeys lost three days ago, don't worry about them. They already have been found. But who is it that the people of Israel want so much? It is you, you and your father's family. I'm the tribe of Benjamin, the smallest tribe in Israel. And my family is the least important one in the tribe. Why then do you talk to me like that? Here, spend your night here and you will be on your way tomorrow. And so, Saul slept under the roof of Samuel, thankful for his generosity. And on the following day, Get up, and I will send you on your way. Tell your servants to go on ahead of us. Stay here a minute, and I will tell you what God has said. The Lord anoints you as the ruler of his people, Israel. You will rule the people and protect them from all their enemies. The Lord God of Israel said that you have rejected him as king, and very well gather yourselves as tribes and clans. Here is the man the Lord has chosen. There is no one else among us like him. Who lives the king? After the king was chosen, Samuel wrote the rights and duties of a king and sent everyone home. However, a few days later, King Saul 
became very boastful for everything he had. But the Lord felt sorry for making Saul king. Yes, with all the money I have, I'll live a better life. After a while, Samuel heard cattle mooing and sheep bleating, but Samuel made it stop. Why do I hear cattle moving and sheep bleating? My men took them from the Amalekites. They kept the, the ones to sacrifice to the Lord, and the rest have been destroyed completely. Weeks and months passed by when word reached King Saul that a very famous shepherd boy named David was able to kill a giant using only a single slingshot. He instructed Jonathan to present David to him. And after all the troubles and difficulties David experienced with the king, the time has come for David to become a king and rule the kingdom of his own. Take one, scene one. Tomorrow about this star. Eh, para mo bosses eh. Take one, scene two. Ano ba yan? Ano ba yan? Take one, scene four. Take two, scene four. Ano ako po? Mahulog yung prom. Mahulog yung prom. Mahulog yung prom.